So we want to find the priority list for this digraph using the critical path algorithm. And there's a couple versions of the critical path algorithm. We're going to start with sort of the sort of definitional version that turns out not to be very efficient. Uh, but we're gonna, it'll help us understand how this works. So the critical path, you might remember, is the longest sequence of tasks in the digraph. So if we look at this, we can see that this sequence here is the longest sequence of tasks in the digraph. Uh, this, this series of tasks, which by the arrows tells us these have to be completed in order, has a total time of, let's see here, 10, 15, 25, 28. And so this is the longest path in the digraph. And so the theory here is that, gee, wouldn't it be nice to get task 2 done first, and so it's going to become the first task on our priority list. So now we're going to imagine what would happen if task 2 wasn't part of the, the graph at all. So we've already sort of used it up. What's the longest path now? And it turns out this remaining path is still the longest, and so the next task on our list is going to be task 6. But once we remove that vertex and its corresponding edges, now, if we ask what is the longest path, it turns out both of these have the same length. This one has length, let's see here, 6 and 5 is 11, uh, 11, 14, 21, and, and this path here is the same. And since they're the same, we'll go ahead and use the task with the smaller number first, and so we'll go ahead and say task 1 is now the head of this critical path. Now once we've added task 1 though, then we remove task 1 from our list, and our critical path now shifts down here, which means task 3 will be the next task on our priority list. So now we imagine we remove that, and we say, what's my new longest path? Well, my new longest path is now here, 5, 3, 7, which is longer than 4, 3, 7. And so task 5 becomes next on my critical path list. We remove that from our graph, uh, along with its edges. And we say, okay, what's longest now? And you can probably see that this is going to be longest now, and so task 7 gets added next. If I remove this and say, what's my longest path now? It's going to be here, task uh, 8 and then task 10. Uh, right, 3 and 7 gives us our longest path now, so we'll go ahead and add task 8. And now once we remove that, all of our order requirements are done, and we're just left with these three sort of individual tasks, uh, the longest of which is task 10. The next longest is task 4. And the only task left is task 9. And so this is our critical path based, critical path algorithm based priority list.